Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on palace prophecies and prophets. You, you know, uh, sometimes the Bible gives us very interesting pictures to let us know that what sometimes what we see has already been, is already known. Now, there's an interesting story in 1 Kings chapter, uh, uh, chapter 22, and that, that, that picture it talks about um, uh, the king, uh, two kings, Ahab and Jehoshaphat, I mean, deciding to go to war. And then all of a sudden, I mean, uh, uh, one of the kings said to you, you know what? Let's ask God. Let's find out from God whether we should really go to war or not. I mean, he was more, he was more of a godly person than the other person. And then Ahab said, all right. And the Bible said he had prophets in, who live in the palace. And there were 400 of those prophets. And they all came together. And guess what? I mean, there were hundreds of those prophets. And they came out and they all prophesied, go to war, go to war, go to war, for this is what the Lord is saying. And then one of them even took a horn and began to, you know, they do the prophetic dance and say, yeah, with this horn, so shall the Lord push away your enemies. God is going to give you victory. And all the prophecies were sweet and palatable, assurance of victory and all those other things. And then the other king said, Joseph said, you know what? There's something uneasy. There, there's an unease in me. I, I'm not being. I'm not feeling very kosher with some of the things that are being said. And uh, every one of them is prophesying this. Every one of them is prophesying this. So he said, "Are these all the prophets? Is this all the prophets you have in your kingdom?" And the Bible said, "The king Ahab said, oh, there's one, but he never says anything good about me. He never wants to say anything good about me. Everything he prophesies are always negative, and his name was Micaiah." And said, then Joseph said, no, 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 don't, don't say that about him. Call him and let's also hear his version. And then when he came, the first time he was called, he said, oh, go. There. Like they said, go. The Lord will give you victory. But then um, they pressed, the kings pressed and said, are you really telling us the truth? He said, you want to hear good news? Go. Then he said, are you really telling us the truth? Then now hear this. This is what I saw. If you go. This will happen. This will happen. And the prophecy he gave was contrary to the palace prophets. You know one thing? Oh, we are living in an age where prophecies are flying left, right, center. Even people unqualified to speak are also now naming themselves prophets. And sometimes I really wonder what's going on. And sometimes, I mean, we've heard of interesting prophetic declarations from this to that to this to that. And some of them, it's very sad. The reason why these prophets were prophets, because they were living from the king's hands. They eat from the king's hands. So their prophecies and things that were governed by prophets. Their prophecies were governed by prophets. Their prophecies were governed by their stomach, by the dictates of their stomach. Their prophecies were, 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 were uh, as a result of a need, a need being fulfilled. So they prophesy good things about the king and the king blesses them. But they never had the mind of God. They never had the mind of God. Oh, we are living in times where the prophetic is being sold for a farthing. And people who are supposed to speak for God and know better and speak into the situation and bring justice and bring exactitude and bring the mind of God compromised because of, of the pocket. Compromised because of profit. Compromised because of gain. That is the travesty. And as a result of that, sometimes you'll be very surprised that, that there's great doubt being created about the prophetic ministry. Instead of us speaking to powers that be, instead of standing in corridors of power, because we live in the palace, we live at the hands of politicians, we live at their hands. 
They feed us. They clothe us. They give us gifts. And all because of, and as a result of that, we will never be able to rise up and speak the truth to them. Where are the Micaiahs of, of today who will stand up and look at kings? Not just one king, different kings. And speak the mind of God. And tell them unequivocally that this is wrong. This is right. That's what we need in these times. Not palace prophets. The prophetic ministry is being brought into sharp public opprobrium. It's going to come in sharp public ridicule. Because people know. And as a result of that, you'll be very, very surprised. Kings don't even respect. Did you see what, uh, uh, um, for Ahab, it was convenience for him. It was a desire for him to do what he wanted to do. But for Jehoshaphat, he said, no, there's something more. Very soon, kings will begin, they'll get uneasy with our palace predictions and our palace prophecies. And they'll see through our prophet motives. They'll see through it. And you'll be very, very surprised. They'll sit back and laugh and say, oh, I know, you just give him this, you prophesy this. Tell him what to prophesy, and he'll prophesy. Why? Because you can't bite the hand that feeds you. If you want to stand in positions of, of, of power, if you want to stand in corridors of power, then we must have the boldness of Nathans, the Nathans. We must have the boldness of the Micaiahs. We must have the boldness of the Elijahs and the Elishas. And bell the cat and speak truth to powers that be. And tell them the mind of God. Speak to politicians. Speak to them and tell them the mind of God. Speak to politicians in the opposition. Speak to politicians in, 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 in incumbent. Speak to them. Speak to them. And tell them the mind of God. Let's stop dilly-dallying with the truth. Let's stop, I mean, uh, fuddling the truth and fuzzing the truth with our convenience. Let us be men of conviction who stand up for the truth and say the mind of God without fear. Well, it's a choice. But palace prophets are being noticed and their prophets are known one way or the other it will leak out the prophet that was made by palace prophets listen if God has given us the authority or God has given us the privilege of standing in corridors of power to speak let us speak the mind of God you know what God's kingdom is forever Politicians will come and go. Their kingdom has an end. We must learn to speak the mind of the kingdom of God. We must learn to speak the mind of God. Because of his kingdom, there shall be no end. Well, palace, prophets, and prophet are choices that people make. See you later.